Okay, time to finish up some D and December. All right, this is where we left off last time. There was actually one thing I was gonna do since I was here, anyways. Uh, was it here? Or was it next door? Oh, I think it was next door. Not a way to start. This is not how you start a stream here, ladies and gents. I don't know, unless I'm not supposed to fight these guys, I, mean, I don't know. One's a thief, one's a fighter, one's a dwarf. An imp is just an imp. They're not that powerful. I don't know how. Well, I, I swear to God, I tell my allies just do their thing. All right. Yeah, it's the old saying goes: third time is a charm. The imp is kind of cute, though. But the is not kind of. And I definitely do know they are very strong spellcasters, so... Yourself? 
playing games here. Because I hear you get some pretty good items here. I mean, I just... that done, now we can move on with our lives. Very strange. Almighty. You know what? Forget it. You know, forget this here. I mean, if this is going to keep happening to me all stream here, I'm not going to waste my time. I'll just come back another day. Let's go find this Valigar person. before more people go missing. Now, now, people, come. This is no time to panic. Please, listen to my husband. <clears throat> yes, well, we are looking for another group of adventurers here to handle the situation. Kill them ogres and evil kin, you mean. 
Yes, ever since that band of monsters moved into the area, we have had nothing but trouble. They're eating people, that's what. They're both daft. It's just the wolves that have been wandering the hills, sure enough. Hungry they is. It's not the wolves, you fool. It's Umar herself. Return to haunt us and steal our children. Umar, don't be telling that folk tale now. Can't you see that it's the ogres? Plain as the truth. People, please, we must first find out what happened to our ranger, Morella, and then track down the source of these murders. More adventurers will come soon. Well, they can't come soon enough. Aren't we demanding? You best be doing something, Mayor, or we need to be fleeing to the city for our safety. I'm trying to do something. I just... Everyone remain calm. Panic will not help. I... I'm going to return to my home now. Everyone, go home, please. You are busy, I made contact with my own player. He has instructed me to await orders. I am to do as I please. However, I will be approached by an agent of L. They will have work for me. Begin to say then if you're interested. What would please me right now is to get moving, shall we? Sure. Hey, what is it you want, stranger? I be Nellick, one of the immense. In this veiled guard, that's all. I wish I could go and do more against them wolves, but I can't leave the village alone, true enough. I'll tell you what is going on, my lord. The wolves that have been in these hills these past years are coming at us, they are. For weeks now, they've been preying on us, sneaking into the village at night and tearing people apart. Then their bodies disappear the next night. It is a gruesome sight, to be sure. I've seen them, too. Them wolves looking from afar with smarts in their eyes. It is the truth. The rest of the village is full of fools. Them ogres, I've seen them, and they ain't too bad. And the Umar stuff is nothing but a load of nonsense. Bloody mare hired a halfling runt and her troop to find out what's been happening. They haven't come back. Wolves rip them apart is my guess. Ah, I don't really know. Ain't nothing natural, that's for sure. They just seem to up and vanish, as far as I can tell. They used to belong to the big rebel army down in the south of Am. Deserters, likely. Seen them on my patrols. Don't like they're up to anything. Led by a big orga fellow. Mad Luff, I think. Wants to be left alone. The fact that he talk first rather than kill you makes him not worse not the worst sort of my books. Just a load of bull is all. He wants to know about Umar, go talk to Viscano at the end. He loves to talk it's out his arse he does. On your way then, stranger. We don't need any more trouble here, that's for certain. All right, let's go find this inn. Hmm. It's probably best left to me. Hello. Um. I don't recognize you. You must be new to this man. Is there something I can help you with? We did? Then the boy did get to the city after all. Ah, I am pleased to hear you. You have come to our aid then, yes? Um, yes, of course. It's a gruesome business. I'm sure that little Dillon told you a story. But I shall elaborate on it for your benefit. We've had a run of killings and disappearances here as of late. People murdered in their beds. Their bodies disappearing. Bodies found with the skins inside out. Normally we would turn to our local ranger protector to aid us in a time like this, but our ranger, Morella, has vanished. Some women went to her cabin southwest of the village, and they found no sign of her. It is not like her to be absent for so long. I... I fear the worst. Soon after, shepherds and farmers from the outlying holds began disappearing. People heard strange noises at night, but we have no ranger to turn to. Everyone's frightened, but they're scared to leave as well, else they get caught out in the wilderness by whatever has been doing the killing. And of course, everyone has ideas of, on what's behind all of this. It's the ogres, my husband. You know it is. Um, my wife, Ina, and yes, many people think that it's a group of ogres who moved into the area just before the killings began. Likely is, too. They're in the hills, too close to the village, I say. Yes, you can find them in the hills a bit north of here. Of course, others think it's a pack of very large wolves that have been ranging the hills for some years. And still others claim Umar herself, the great witch of the hills, has returned. Legend has it she was responsible for deaths much like these ones. Ha. Huh. That is just old legend. Umar has been gone for over 500 years, my husband. Yes, true. I suppose I should warn you. I've already hired a famous knight, Mazzy Fenton, and her troop. 
but they haven't been back. I don't know much about this Umar, but it sounds like some kind of evil magic. Perhaps this ogre is a powerful mage? It's a possibility we shouldn't ignore. If wolves were shadows and doing this, then they'd have to be terribly evil. Dire wolves, perhaps. I don't think ogres would do this, but I'm not sure. This all sounds quite ominous. To be honest, I think you should check on the ogres and their fellows before chasing after legends and such. So, will you will you help us? Oh, most excellent. Please, my lord. Go to Morella's cabin and find where she has gone. My men are too frightened to go that far from the village. Her cabin is west of the village, in the valley. It, it should not be hard to find. There are other older cabins in the hills, abandoned for many years. Or go north from here to the river and find that Madluff and his beasts. I have little doubt that they are responsible for all this, but we must be very sure. I am relieved that you have decided to help us. You have run... You have the run of the village, my lord. If you need anything else, do not hesitate to come to me. Hmm. So it seems like we got a mystery on our hands here. One group of people says it's wolves. Others say it's ogres. Another group says it's Umar returning. So the real question is... Who's telling the truth? and a half. Mind you, don't listen to the drivel these villagers might tell you. They have half believing that a 500-year-old witch is on the prowl. You see, the real story is that there's a pack of wolves that decided to come to the village area here and pick people up. You can't even travel much unless you got an armed guard. Makes for poor business, it does. Our company thought it was a good thing that when we won exclusive rights to in this vale from the council, now it's just losing us money. Some people still think the problem can be solved. I heard the mayor hired a band of adventurers to look into it, but they've disappeared. No one wants to travel alone, but if it's something isn't done soon, then they might decide to all leave together. Tis a shame. This is a prosperous village otherwise. Good business, actually. Always willing to satisfy a customer. With gold, that is. Sir, my name is Dervet, and me and my friends here want to be adventurers like you. Real strong and powerful, like. Yeah, I want to be a ranger and protect the village. I want to be a great warrior like me dad. I know we can't, but everyone says we're all too young and all. Bull. That's what I say to that. Since, since you're an adventurer and all, sir, I was hoping, I was hoping you might maybe, maybe buy some swords for us? Some bastard swords? And some ale, Dervet, don't forget the ale. Yeah, wants to be real men. Uh, swords and some mail then. If if we give you the money, sir, would you buy us some? Uh, okay, with three bastard swords, we could at least become adventurers. Here's some of the gold we saved up. Thanks, sir. You're the greatest. Aww. Ah, get over it, Valsman. At least we're going to get some swords. Never the role model, ain't I?
that may have been exceedingly harsh in my treatment of him from what's came. She was Seems like I'm having a. Uh, seems like I'm trying to have her turn around. Let's have a look around this village. See if there's anything of interest. Before we continue on. Must be the cabin. It's probably a best left to me. <sighs> oh, what do we have here? It looks like as if a violent struggle has taken place here. Someone was killed and dragged out of the cabin. There are a few footprints in the blood. There's, they appear to be a dog or wolf prints. Give me some direction. Hmm. Not a concern. An interesting clue. Now oh, what's this? What do we have here? here. That's some gold, I guess. I'll say to it. Found the journal here. I suppose I could take this to Lloyd, see what he has to say. I'm probably 
Pretty sure he's gonna be very curious about all this. Because quite honestly, this a journal and and a note are actually both very good clues. Let's see what they have to say. I guess we found out what it is. It's the wolves that are doing this. I have a feeling that this aren't just ordinary wolves. I have a feeling they might be werewolves. But as the old saying goes, never assume anything until you can provide your facts. But we'll see. How's it going, Bear? Well, looks like that groundhog is now nothing more than a little morsel for uh, the bear. Mark Cave. Hmm. I wonder if there's other stuff around here before I go inside. I'm gonna have a look around. Interesting. A mimic. What in the world is that? Oh, these guys again? The Umber Hulks? Really? For Christ's sake! Jesus! Oh my lord. Now I gotta go through all this again. This is this is starting to become very, very aggravating. Alright. 
Alright, I'm just skipping through all this. This is ridiculous. Where'd you go? I must have gone back to his house. If it must be done. I mean, that I find extreme. I can accept the mimic, but those umbers? No, no, that's not acceptable. Kevin, once again. What are you waiting for? to Lloyd's house once again.
Use nice human bit. Why are you come? What use one? Me mad love. These fellows from Great Army of Sith with the south. No one wants to kill races no more. These follow in direction. We just want to be left alone. It's very hard. Humans hate us. And we just want to be left alone. Some humans call knights who chase us. Not bad here, but Mad Love thinks village will call knights soon. Humans very mad. Man, though, fellows like you. But something bad killing fellows. Lose one, two maybe at a time. Disappear, body two, very bad. Mad Love, very worried. Mad Dolph, no want death. Mad Dolph, no want fight, just want peace. You tell villagers, maybe that Mad Dolph and fellows will protect villagers. Protect from orcs and mountains, yes? Humans let us stay then and no call nights. Maybe let us come, once in a move, to trade for food and goods. Mad Dolph, make deal with villagers. If you tell them, we want no trouble. Mandolph happy. Maybe fellows can live alone and eat good, be happier. You do a good thing, maybe humans agree. Mandolph keep deal, you tell them. Or some stupid happens here. I'm gonna save it here. But I'm not going through this again. I'll see you to it. I'm waiting. I don't like the looks of this. No, 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 no.
Eh, that wasn't too bad. Killing a mimic? Not bad. Not bad at all. Leave this place here. I'm there. So, where am I supposed to start the uh. Okay, so, several hours north, which means I gotta go north. From my current position. Alright, we'll do just that.
anything on that note here, it's time to head north and find more about these uh, deaths that have occurred in Umar Hills. Like my weapons are the only ones that does damage. So I wonder if it's these shade wolves that are killing off the villagers. Hmm. This could prove interesting. to give her everything until uh, she gets her strength back. Which I got to miss. I'm starting to find extremely difficult to believe. I'm not accustomed to such loads. I've had to drop something. Well, we have to take her back to the temple and get her restored. She's in no shape to fight. Right, there's the wolf cave, but we gotta go back. Get her 
back to full strength. Yes, that is my name. What can I do for you, son? I have a message for you, Miss Nalia. From the residents of Dan Arnie's castle, I must get your signet ring to prove I found you. Of course, you have done well. Thank you, Miss Nalia. Though I do hate to be the bearer of summer news. Here is your message. Safe travels here. Let's see what this says, then, shall we? Oh, my. I must go to the graveyard district and tackle all other concerns must be. I'm sorry, but I must insist upon this. The letter was notification of my father's funeral arrangements, and I will not miss him. I must leave as soon as possible. Thank you. I do appreciate it. All right. Well, let's get her. All right. Let's. All right, let's get her strength. Let's get Aerie's strength. Oh no, her strength is back. All right. Let's go find a... So if it's her father's funeral, that's important. Miss Nalia, allow me to show you to the funeral. Hello there. They are waiting for you upstairs. It's done. Stand where you're at, peasant. Oh, Lord de uh, Ernst. If fraternize me with some colorful company, I must say. Not what I would expect from a gentleman's funeral. Oh, Nalia, I have heard you have been in dreadful straits since your father's death. I can only imagine the horrors you have endured. Miss Tandelin, I'm not sure what you mean. But my dear, the wandering like a gypsy, the company you have had to keep, Isaiah has painted quite the unsavory picture. Oh, he has, has he? He talks far too much for my comfort, Miss Tandelin, if you would excuse me. Of course, my dear. I wish you peace. I am willing. Nalia, my dear. I have been worried sick about you. No, it's Isaiah. Let's get out of here. No, do not run away. It has been so long since I have seen your face. So regal and, uh, a bit dirty, actually. Have you been slumming again? Naughty. Kindly place a cork in it, Isaiah. I do not slump. Foppish fools looking for a thrill slump. I help people. Of course, one must have one's little hobbies, but it is just about time you honored your uh, agreement. The honor of your house is at stake, you recall. My helmet has a new head that owes you no allegiance. Do such agreements carry beyond the death of the makers? No, a master of weapons may assume title to. You know as well as I do that the arrangement is a fabrication. My word, you have brought them here? This orc is ruling your house? Ridiculous! No more ridiculous than you forcing the issue of this betrothal. No, Isaiah, I will not marry you. Above all else, I do not find your company enjoyable. You may be entitled to ruin your own reputation, but I will not have you dragging me down as well by denying what is mine by rights. I will not stand for it. It can, sp it can speak. Now they have trained you well. Oh, did I provoke you? Your action will be violent, no doubt. On your first move, I shall my guard cut you to... What is going on here? Who all these... Oh, hello, Nalia. My deepest sympathies to you this day. Your father was a fine man. Thank you, Lord Ronald. He would be pleased to hear such praise. Stop this Lord Ronald business. I'll have not such formalities. Fatherton is my name among friends. Father is out of sight of the missus. Hm. Huh. Lord Ronald, you are a positive cad. Yes, well, oh, it is true that your home has been overrun by barbarians. My guards will have you home and safe in no time. There are none finer. 
I fear you are misinformed, sir. No, with my father's death, it was best to defer to the weapons master that saved the keep. You know the old customs, don't you? Of course, a fine tradition. I know many a name that was started this in that way. The Cutswoods of Moran, for example. I'm glad to see you follow. Thank you, Fauna. It is not that simple. Now they have made a rash decision, and we'll sort it all out shortly. Aren't the Kurtz words downstairs? Give them my best. Quite, quite. All my best, my dear. Isaiah, what have you told him? That I was run off and afraid to go back? Is that how you intend to take control of my home, my life? I'll not have it. Now then, descend further into these whims of yours, and you shall be a laughing stock. Come now, our combined names would carry quite the weight. What do you say? I say, I say, take your name and eat it. I'll not be your puppet. Do not anger me, Nalia. I can help a hinder. I've done it before. Kindly turn your eyes downward. Your gaze, your gaze makes me feel unclean. As for your threat, you should recall. Let really know whom you are addressing before you do such things. If I wished to see it, I would have you flogged where you stand. For now, I will leave this be. It is unfinished, however. Hmm. Interesting. understand him. If he were not the son of Lord Ronald, I would think him capable of anything. Anything short of the criminal, of course. This has been too much to take in. Let us get away from here and away from him. Lead on. Um... Am I supposed to talk to all the guests? Ugh, my legs are just aching. My time is quick, so I've never walked so much in my life. It's strange that more have not come to the funeral, though the market has fluctuated lately, and many nobles are absorbed in their figures and books. I would have hoped they would have made time. Oh, Nalia, yeah, I quite agree. He, he may not have been the most cutthroat of businessmen, but your father deserved respect. Thank you for that, Lord Donderbeg. My pleasure, my dear. Though the honor to say such is mine, I hope I can aspire to gauge my integrity by comparison to your father's. You always were one of the more understanding of father's friends. I thank you, my dear. Now go, and don't let the dark cloud above this place seep into your heart. Welcome to this place for this somber occasion. Mingle and celebrate the life of Lord Dirnes. He would have everyone speak as equals. It was good for you to come, Nalia. I know your father would have appreciated it. I hope so. I'm quite. Sh I'm sure quite a few of his business partners could do without seeing me. That may well be, but today is not the time for such things. We are celebrating a life at this place, and all grievances should be put aside. I will try, Minister Adeline. Again, your father would have appreciated it. Wander and speak with the others, and talk of how you felt about him. I have told everyone else to do as much. Your father would prefer the honest talking of friends over pre-written speeches. I need a swig of some strong Damn you for dying, Arnis. You still owe me a keg and a hunt since we last, last visit. To your health, wherever you are. Banshee, is that you? Who would know me a nickname? Little Nally Nalia? Oh, you are a sight for my eyes, I tell you. Oh, but girlie, I am sorry for what has happened. Don't be sorry. Father would love that you came. You scare the nobles something fierce. That I do, and rightfully so. Someone has to liberate the people beneath the yoke of the nobles. Soon come the time to strike. Banchi. <laughs> Look at him squirm around the room. Oh, I don't mean nothing. They don't know that. Thanks, Banchi. You've made me smile. Then my work is done for the ten day. I will leave on this good note. Before we start to crying and backslapping. If you must, Banchi, safe travels. Aye, I gotta. May your heart and troubles both be light. Nali Nalia. That name just rolls right off the tongue. My time is quick, so be brief, commoner. How long do you intend to crack your whip on my back? Hmm. I wonder if I gotta speak to her again. I'll heed no churlishness, peasant. It's probably best. 
is left of me. So what am I supposed to do here? I talked to everybody here, so what am I supposed to do? I shall follow your strength. I hope this is worth it. Yeah, I'll say to it. Destiny awaits. Hmm. It's done. I find it strange that there'd be a funeral at night. So back to the ruins.
drains me. Alright, so where are we? Oh yes, the ruins. Nalia, I would ask that you drop this foolishness at once and return to your proper duties. Honor the commitment you made to me. I will not change my mind now. Oh good, I get interrupted. I wanna find the wolves and now we gotta Well I mean help me not this. Of the government bastard or district, huh? Hmm. Okay, so we lost Nalia. We have to get her back. Okay, we gotta head to the docks district, so off we go. The wolves can wait. Find Barg. It's probably best left to me. Wait. Where's Barg's home again? Hold off, it's supposed to be in the docks district. The docks in the docks district. Okay, first things first here, we're gonna go find this Barg character. He's gotta be down here.
Me and the dogs. At the docks. Hmm. So he's got to be down there, some down here somewhere. Because honestly, there's no other area he would be in. That's just a sailor. Sign of bark anywhere. Hmm. So I really need to get Nellia back.
Why did you not detect traps like you were supposed to? Jimmy, just after a few seconds. Yeah, this proves my point. So it looks like at some point we will have to go upstairs.
but I really, like I said, I really want to get Nalia back. So I think our best option is just go to the tavern and get room for the night. There's not much else we can do here. Daytime, let's go find this, uh... There he is! You're back, aren't you? Is it safe for me to assume that you have succeeded in your mission? Or am I merely subject to ruling a social call? Ah! There he is, there's Bard. Yo ho ho, for the lads now at rest. Yo ho ho, so they say. We'll drink for the lads that have sunk to their rest, and we'll drink for the living just the same. Oh, my head is barely on my legs today. Too much of the Miller's ale tails in this damn home brew. You you have that right, sir. Never met a bell I didn't like. Nothing wrong with that, is there? My source is as true as with me and my fellows as can be. Nothing under the table there. Simple b business arrangement. Of course, the whole matter is not viewed as such by the guards, but it's an honorable trade amidst ourselves. As you have foots to build. <laughs> He's a right gent. If a bit too much to hop in the britches, want me to say up for the job? Pirating, of course. Oh, the others will be all quite all bad, but I'm right proud to keep some merchants on their toes. <laughs> of course, that is is and other things too, but me and the boys don't go in for slavery and such. Me? I've never talked to that slaver contact, Dirth. Hey, what do you suppose they pay to get the guard to look the other way? Must be thousands to overlook it. Wow, that's a lot. Anyway, I've never talked to Dirt. Hit, even though I spent hours in the sea's bounty. Ain't even that far from him. Want a drink? Hit, almost more than I know my hit myself. Good travels to you, stranger. Dirt. Okay, so so he's just at the place we were just at. Let's go find this Dirth character and get some information out of him. Alright, he's gotta be downstairs. There he is. Yeah, Rona. I know him well enough that he would never tell her dealings to another person. Wait a moment. I do know you. Oh, but you have some nerve to show your face to me. You killed Captain Hagen. You were clearly described to me. Come for another slaver, have you? Well, not go without a fight.
I carry too much as it is. Your item's on the ground. Alright, so that takes care of that. So another thing I can do is a government district. So our next step is uh, uh, the government district. So we're here. So northwest of the government building in the government district. Okay, so there's the government building itself. Here. That's it. That's the thing we need. I am strong, but there's a limit to how much I'll carry on your behalf. I carry too much as it is. Your item's on the ground. So, that takes care of that. Let's head to the government building. I think this is the person I gotta talk to. Is there a reason you were here? You should 
make an appointment to request an audience to speak directly with Officer Rowan. Okay, so now we gotta take as so as he has getting taken to court multiple on multiple charges. I demand satisfaction. This is preposterous. The matter is closed until further investigation. Now that you are free to go, Isaiah, you are not to leave at the Cala. An outrage! Yay, I guess. <laughs> I just love this line. Don't mind, Isaiah. It makes you seem even less of a man. Burn. This is not over by any means. Thank you for your help. You have helped me again. Nothing of it. Yay, I got her back! Yay, Malia's back! Alright, we can give her her things back now. That's a plus one. large shield if she can equip it that is all right well like I said I got Melia back um, what am I supposed to do with the funeral am I supposed to uh finish Never got settled. Yeah, because it's strange that, uh, unless maybe, well, well, main thing is I got, I got Nalia back. It was difficult, you can imagine. I knew only a few words of common, and as I traveled, I carefully avoided any contact with the surfacers. 
The land was strange, and each day I huddled under the terrible open sky, sure that I would be pulled into the fastness of it if I but closed my eyes for an instant. Moth had abandoned me, and I was alone in a strange world. Those ribbon who saw me hounded me with abandon, and I fled to the forests. There I was hunted by the Darthia, surface elves, and their own hatred drove me further. I was sure I would perish, never to see the Underdark again. A group of Gaulm, you call them goblins, tried to seal my fate, but a human merchant came in his caravan, and his guards scattered them. From a distance, he had thought me a surface elf. Surprisingly, when he learned out the drop, he offered shelter. It was a sanctuary while I learned the human tongue. He was Kalishti, I believe. They are fond of slaves. The price for my safety was the favors I bestowed, erotic arts that the drow have honed for an eon. Does it amuse it that I had run my dark hands along his sweaty folds and tickled him artfully with my tongue, that he exerted himself wildly as I passionately bit his shoulder? Actually, I rather enjoyed it. He was quickly my pawn, and the caravan went as I wished. Alas, his heart gave out one night. Like I thought it murder, it chased me away. Oh, do not look at me in such a manner. Does your manhood will from talk of us using drawn knowledge of the erotic to survive in your world? Is it so terrible? Good. I am pleased you have some sense. Or is it you just wish to partake of the same pleasures? Is that what I see? Perhaps another time, Jaluk. Why would she say that? Actually, you know what? Wait. I think we have to go back to the government or the graveyard district and have finished the funeral. I don't think that ever got resolved. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think we ever finished the funeral. Because I don't think we did. Hmm. I want to talk to him just for giggles. Oh. Okay, I guess the funeral's over. Okay, so I guess there's really nothing else for us here, so I guess we'll be on our way. Alright, let's go get those wolves. See what these wolves are all about. Uncle, curse you and curse the world. Can a wolf not enjoy her last meal in peace? My wolves? Ha, no longer, fool. The pack has fallen under the fell magics of the Shade Lord. Your hunting has gone worry. This place was not always like this. Floating in a false and unholy darkness, he began only a short time ago. The ruins to the east of the den have long been a place of foreboding to my pack and me. We had no desire to tread to the ground of the fallen temple. The temple was once dedicated to Emonator, the god of the sun, and a great prophetess is buried within. It was holy ground once, though now it is fouled. It is obvious that Amonator's power has waned, for it is for if this were still his consecrated ground, my doom would never have arisen from the bowels of the temple. Go on. Some weeks ago, muted rumblings were heard beneath the temple. We paid little heed to them until the skies darkened and the shadows deepened. It was high noon when it happened, and the pack gathered so that it might, so that it might calm them. 
I thought it to be an eclipse. It was not. The Shade Lord came among us then. He dominated my wolves, my children, with a glance. I changed form and left his darkness, but he merely laughed. Anath, he said, bend to my will. You shall be the means of my revenge. He walked amongst the terrified wolves and killed them all with a touch. Once they were all dead, his darkness reached out to the corpses of my children and animated them as shade wolves. Numb with terror and sorrow, I ran. I've hidden these last few weeks from the shades that once were wolves and from the darkness that creeps out from the temple that once imprisoned the shade lore. I will hide no more. This man I killed only to gather strength to face the shade lore. He wants only to kill and those he kills, but be they man thing or wolf, arise as shades in his army. Will you allow me this revenge, or do I have to fight you as well? Meet me in the temple to the east of this den. Be wary of the shadows that lurk there. Make sure you are prepared before you enter it. I'm waiting. Hmm. It's probably best left to me. I thought it was. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Set the temples to the east of this den. So east we shall go then. Where is this temple? She says it's to the east of the den. Here's the wolf cave, and I've gone east as east can go, unless it's further north. Here it is. This must be the temple. What in the world? Holy... Wow. Alright, you know what? So that's starting to send out the herd a little bit. Oh, does she actually drain life? That is awesome. Ken, it's a trap. Use the mirror to the left of the crystal there. Together with what light is left and avenge my pack. Yes. 
So she said that the mirror is to the left. Okay, so which means I gotta go inside. underground. If these shit, these wolves can only be. Very surprised my turn on dead isn't doing anything. Hmm. 
This is an interesting find. You shall not breathe the master's consort for a I find it strange that my weapon is the only one that's actually doing damage. But then again, you don't exactly have a, uh... So it's starting to get drained here, so... I really want to continue onward with this. And I just can't do that. But at least we made some good progress, so I guess that counts for something. Alright, so that does it for in December of 2022. Uh, thank you to those who watched. I deeply appreciate it. And I will see everyone in 2023.